The Cougars head to San Diego this week for round two against the Toreros. And after a slow start to the season, Matt Carlino will look to build on a successful performance that he's had over the last few weeks. I just think I was playing dumb. I was uh, not playing myself. I was, I was, I mean, it was just, it, it was, I wasn't playing like myself. I was trying to do stuff that isn't comfortable for me. And uh, I mean, I've still taken some of it uh, to what I'm doing now, but I mean, it was just a learning experience. Matt's a guy that, can can make guys better, and when he's playing when he's playing fast and pushing the ball up the floor, uh, he he finds Brandon on the break, finds me on the break, and I mean he he makes guys better. He's become uh, a lot more comfortable in uh, taking uh, the opportunities that are provided for him instead of trying to force things. And the last couple of weeks he's, weeks he's been terrific. I mean his decision making has been good, and then he shot the ball well, and when he shoots the ball well, he has a and a whole different mindset as far as his confidence is concerned. The Cougars handled the Toreros at home just a few weeks ago. Tyler Hawes led all scorers with 25 points in the 74 to 57 victory, and he's hoping to build on that effort this week. We need to play at our pace, play at the the speed that uh, that makes us really good. Um, San Diego at times has wanted to, you know, slow it up, and I, I think if we play at our speed, we'll be fine. Guards Chris Anderson and Johnny D led the Toreros in scoring the last time these teams met, and the Cougars' number one priority will be to slow them down. Anderson at the end of a shot clock is really hard to contain because he's quick, he's fast, and can get past you, and then has a real knack for finding guys. Anderson, he's he's a very quick, athletic dude that uh, can can go up and down really fast and. Uh, we we got to control him uh, on the offensive side, and and obviously D is a great shooter, so those are guys we definitely got to know you know where they're at uh, all the time on the floor. The Cougars have struggled on the road during conference play, and San Diego is looking good at home as of late. BYU knows they're in for a battle. They're a tough team. I mean, they brought Gonzaga down to the wire at their place, so their will to win is high right now. The Cougars will try to extend their winning streak to four games as they take on the Toreros at 7 p.m. Pacific time on BYU TV. At the Marriott Center, Jake Edmonds, BYU TV Sports.